Hello everybody, welcome to Tree NFT, where we take a look at all things NFT, especially on the Cardano blockchain. This is the pilot episode of Tree NFT, and we're going to cover the basics of buying NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. To start, we're going to take a look at the NAMI wallet and what an ADA handle is. And then later in the episode, we're going to take a look at the JPEG store marketplace and CNFT tools. Just a disclaimer, I'm also new to the NFT space, so I'm going to be learning right along with you, and this is not financial advice. So to start, we're going to pick a wallet. My personal favorite wallet is NAMI wallet. Some other wallets include Eternal and Daedalus. Um, I prefer NAMI because it's a simple Chrome browser extension, much like MetaMask. Um, I don't use NAMI as my main wallet because it is a browser extension, but I, I like the, the quickness. Um, I use it to connect to dApps and swaps and NFT minting apps, uh, other Web3 apps in the Cardano blockchain. It's right there in my browser. It's very easy to use. It's quick to set up. It uses a 24-word passphrase and is compatible with most Cardano Web3 platforms. So here's the NAMI interface. Uh, very simple. Looks exactly like MetaMask in my opinion. It does have some extra Cardano features such as staking and delegating your tokens. Um, you can add collateral. Instead of gas and slippage, Cardano uses collateral to make the transactions happen. Um, has your transaction history, you, a nice little NFT platform so you can see your NFTs and obviously your tokens in Cardano. Very simple, very easy to use. Um, the source code's all there on GitHub. I think this is a great starting place if you're looking to get into Cardano NFTs. I love the NAMI wallet and the browser extension. Um, so to move on, we're going to check out the ADA handles. I think this is really cool, really awesome idea. It's a lot like the uh, .eth addresses, um, but it's also a little different. Uh, it's, it's native to the Cardano network, and it's an NFT. So you can mint your own ADA handle and it's essentially your wallet address. So whatever wallet is holding your ADA handle, you can also just send to that handle rather than that very long Cardano address. I would have to send someone this very long Cardano address if, they, if I wanted them to send me something. Or I can use my ADA handle, dollar sign Tree City West, and they can send to that. Since it's in that wallet, whatever they send is gonna go to that wallet. Very simple, very easy solution, NFT powered naming solution for the Cardano wallet. I think it's awesome, very easy to use. Um, can hand out your ADA handle rather than your very long Cardano address. So it only costs a couple of ADA to mint it depending on your name or the word. And um, yeah, definitely recommend checking that out, getting your own ADA handle for your wallet. Uh, makes transactions between friends and peers much faster. So let's get into the Cardano marketplace. The preferred marketplace on the Cardano blockchain is called JPEG Store. Um, its interface, I think, is a lot cleaner than OpenSea. It's a lot more responsive. It's easier to use. So as you can see on their front page here, there's over 280 million Cardano in trading volume with almost 200,000 unique wallets trading on this platform. There's tons of volume. There's tons of projects. And it's really become the one-stop shop for uh, Cardano NFTs. So here you can see the top NFT collections over the last 24 hours. You can switch that to all time and you can really see some of the blue chip collections in the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, we have Space Buds here with a floor of 3,100 ADA. Ape Society with a floor of 1650. These are some of the biggest Cardano NFT projects with the most volume traded. You have the Boss Cat Rocket Club, Clay Nation, Pavia, Dead Pixels, all very awesome projects. You have Yummy Universe, Earn Cardano for holding their NFTs. It's a really awesome, really awesome uh, ecosystem here. So here we can look at the collections. It's a very clean interface. You, know, you scroll down, uh, we can take a look at this non-fungible devil here. Um, you see it, the wallet address it's owned by, what they're asking for it. You can actually make an offer if you feel like it's uh, you can get it for cheaper. And here it has all the NFT properties. Um, you can see the rarity of each property. So you see he's wearing this black uh, Chicago uh, black NBA jersey. Only 2% of the NFTs have that. And you can see the floor on that is over 60 ADA. So while the cheapest NFTs in the project are going for 40, if it has one of these Chicago Bulls black NBA jerseys, it's going for 60. So with that, you can do a quick flip, make a little Cardano on the side. And that's really all we're trying to do this bear market is get by and make a little extra Cardano. So another cool feature of JPEG store is that you can customize your profile. You can make a username, you can make a bio, add your so social links. 
set your profile picture of your favorite NFT. A lot of cool things that you can do. It's all written on chain. Uh, very cool stuff. Yeah, and then finally, you have your profile page. You see your NFTs, what you have for sale, list of your activity, what have you made offers for, what have you declined, uh, what have you bought and sold. Um, you can set favorite NFTs. They'll show up here, things you have your eye on. But yeah, JPEG Store is the definitive Cardano NFT marketplace. I highly suggest you check it out if you're going to be uh, sniping and flipping NFTs. It's a great place to list it. Tons of volume. And uh, with that, we'll move on to uh, CNFT tools. So as we move on to CNFT tools here, uh, one of the great things about Cardano NFTs is they have all the metadata stored on chain and each NFT typically has different rarity. Not all projects do that, but a lot of them do. That's how you can determine what's worth a lot more than the other NFTs. And it just makes it for a fun, fun time. So we're gonna take a look at the non-fungible devils that we saw over on the JPEG store in the CNFT tools utility. And um, here you can see they actually have rarity. You can see the one of ones, which are the highest ranked NFTs. And we have a Darth Maul. We have a Hella from uh, Thor and uh, Marvel Universe. We have Super Mario, uh, lots and lots of cool stuff. Um, so here you can see the higher ranks are worth a lot of ADA, you know, 3000, plus ADA for rank 12, rank 15, 2,500 for rank 19. Very cool stuff. Now what I like to do with CNFT tools is if I have my eyes on a project, I can use their price filters to determine what the best rank is for what I can spend. So say uh, the floor on non-fungible devils right now is about 40 ADA. I can spend about 65 ADA. So I'll pop 65 over into this price filter and I'll see what are the best ranks that I can buy for 65 ADA. And here we see a non-fungible devil in a Golden State jersey. Uh, we have some you know, different clothes. Here's one with wings. Here's a gold one. You know, the gold ones seem pretty rare. Um, got some halos, some rabbit ears. So lots of cool stuff. Um, so it looks like you can get a top 800 non-fungible devil for six, less than 65 ADA. That one's actually going for 60. So, and that's how you can find the deals, really. You know, I, I put the filter at 65, but this higher rank is only 60. And if we look over here, here's one for 59. And then this gold one is 65, which is a lower rank than these cheaper ones. So it, it's an awesome tool to see, get your bang for your buck, especially if you're looking to make some quick flips. Um, you know, shout out to the guys over at Moon Boy Society. They're, they have me going around looking for all these space spaceships, the Astros, we're looking for the astronauts. Um, so I can type in the orange spacesuit into the filter here. I'll type in the Cardano spacesuit into the filter here. And then uh, we'll have to reset the price. So here's all their spacesuits, their moon men. Very cool. By the rank eight for 50,000 ADA. It's a little insane. Um, but if I want to see what my cheapest... Uh, Astro spacesuit. I'll sort it by price here, and it looks like I can get one for 220, which is a really awesome deal, considering these other ones are going for 250, 1,000, 2,500, then everything else is going for uh, 5,000 and over, pretty much. So, so yeah, get this rank 1576 for 228. Uh, it looks like a great deal. You could probably buy that, list it for at least 250, maybe 300, maybe a thousand. See what you can get for your spaceman and earn a little extra ADA in the bear market. So just like the S tokens that we all like to look at, you know, the low cap gems, just uh, you also want to do your research on these Cardano projects. So, you know, make sure when you're looking into a project, uh, you can, you see their website, you see their Twitter, um, you know, we'll head over to Twitter here. We'll look for non-fungible devils. And yeah, they got almost 3000 followers. You know, they look legit. Nice little project, really cool art. And we saw it on the front page of the marketplace. Took it over to CNFT Tools, see if we could flip any deals. Found the Spaceman for 228 ADA. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And then we can start doing our research. You know, we see the, the Twitter, take a look in the Discord. And uh, I've been having a lot of luck with these projects, you know, finding these little NFTs and flipping them. So, so that concludes the pilot of a Tree NFT. This is just the basics of our Cardano uh, NFT adventure. I hope you come along with us, get your NAMI wallet set up, get familiar with JPEG stores, set up your profile, get your ADA handle, 
and then start checking out the CNFT tools. It's all about the bear market grind. We're just trying to earn extra ADA on the side while, while we watch our portfolios and the bags go to the downside. So, so I hope you're along for the ride. Thank you for joining. Shout out to DR Project. Shout out to Moonboy Society. And uh, Tree NFT, we're out.